Hi everyone, so a little while ago I did a review of the Motorola G and today I'm going to show you what's happened now that it's updated to KitKat. This isn't going to be a full in-depth review, it's just going to be a what's new. So as you can see, you already, you already saw the KitKat logo there and we have the Android version 4, 4, 2. And you also get the blocks here as well. You can get these to come up in daydream mode as well, like you used to get the jelly beans as well. Kind of miss the jelly beans a little bit still. I don't know. I liked the jelly beans. I'm going to miss them. They will live on in the ancient Galaxy S2 that I own. I turn that on sometimes just so I can look at them. I'm, I'm a very sad person. Anyway, um, not much has changed really in KitKat. Obviously, you get the white notifications now and the white power toggles, you also um, get wireless printing built in now, all Samsung devices uh, I think 4.3 and up, so the Galaxy S4 and the Note 3 basically, they have they can do it without KitKat, but anything else you need KitKat um, for cloud print and the HP print service as well, have tested it on the Motorola G and my S4 and it works perfectly, um, it started printing literally within seconds of me pressing the button and I used Quick Office for that. Um, we now have Hangouts as the SMS app. We do still have the SMS app here, but something I noticed, even though we've now got uh, native emoji support on here, it doesn't work in the original SMS app. It can receive them, but it can't send them. It will send and the message will just be completely bank blank on both devices for some weird reason. So you have to use Hangouts for emoji anyway, and that's fine. Uh, Hangouts is my preferred app anyway. Other than that, we now have the transparent uh, software keys and status bar. This is Nova Launcher, uh, just because I prefer it to stock launchers. Um, the only changes really in the standard launcher is that the scroll indicator is now white and not blue, and you get the transparency. No Google edition, no Google Experience launcher included in the update. That is still a Nexus 5 only. However, I will try. Si I have sideloaded it before, and I'll sideload it again in a moment to show you. Um, other than that, the device is very smooth now. Uh, much smoother than before. It was quick before, because it is pretty much stock Android. But it is a lot quicker now. And in System RAM, remember KitKat only uses up around... But only requires 500 meg to run and this has a gig so see there at the moment 85% of the system RAM is being used leaving us with 123 bytes even though there aren't many apps open still doesn't seem like much I was expecting more RAM to be freed up than that but oh well uh, the only other change is we get the new style of lock screen so again you don't have the black bar with the circle anymore it's transparent you get the camera icon um, although you still swipe this way for the camera opens actually if I just close it again I'm going to show you how quickly it opens so if I grab my Nexus 7 it's very impressive opening time on the camera you don't have to wait long at all and actually you know what for a 5 megapixel sensor and bad uh, and then you get obviously still swipe that way for images the camera sensor isn't bad considering it's only a 5 megapixel um, that's really oh, also we do now have the KitKat dialer which is a lot better I'm not going to type any names in here because I don't want you seeing my phone numbers but um, it's much easier you get the proper predictive typing now so you hit the keys with the letters on it and then that guesses the contact name that you want which is something I actually really missed from stock Android actually because my Galaxy S2 back on gingerbread had it and my S4's always had it I don't really know why Google took so long to include it in stock Android but there it is finally you can use uh, smart dialing like that um, that's basically all that's new on the device. Unfortunately, I was going to say Android Runtime didn't make it into the update. If we go into developer's options here, Art did not make it into the update, which is kind of a shame. I uh, don't know whether my S4 will get it in its kick update. At the moment, I think the Nexus 5... Oh no, hang on, look, select Runtime, use Dalvik. I can change it to Art. 
Um, won't do that now, I'll look it up. All right, well done, Motorola. You have now got art on the Motorola G. I might have to enable that in a minute and see what happens. Although I have heard some reports of it messing stuff up, so I want to have a look. But um, that's basically all that's new. I'm going to pause the video now, and I'm going to sideload the Google Experience launcher in, and we can just see how smooth it is now that we're on KitKat. Okay, so we have now I've now reinstalled the Google Edition launcher. One of the things I don't like about it is even if you only have one screen. Oh no, hang on. I've installed it, but I haven't set it as the default home. That might help. Is it offsets the wallpaper slightly? Odd. Might change. Home launcher. Right, well this is strange because swiping for Google now isn't working. This is the Google edition launch. Now on my S4 running 4.3, the swipe for Google now works and this is quite strange. Uh, and on this, when it was on 4.3, that swipe worked. But now it doesn't. Um... That's odd. For some reason, the swiping right for right for Google now doesn't work on this running KitKat. But I use Nova anyway, so okay. I guess we can't test that properly. So Nova is still my launcher of choice. So yeah, uh, that's a basic what's new in KitKat. We also get lock screen album art. There isn't any music on this, unfortunately. Otherwise, I would demonstrate it. Um, actually, no, I'll tell you what. I'll demonstrate it on the Nexus 7. Which is turned off, so no, I won't. Okay. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. That was going so professionally until I decided to do that. That's just ruined it. I'm so sorry. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. That's what's new in KitKat. If you're looking at getting a Moto G, please let me know what you think in the comments. Bye.